fixing up my beautiful kitchen in here. It's the long-awaited homecoming for Barbara Harris, who had lived in the Norse homes since she was six years old. Yep, raised all up in Norse. That's the family. A neighborhood Harris knows like the back of her hand. She says her new home is an upgrade from the old houses. Houses that Norris Community Council President Donna Richardson says needed to be redone. And PJ no longer wanted to make sure the people was living in a safe, you know, environment and had units that was equipped for them. Funded through a $30 million community choice grant, the renovation project aims to rebuild all of the 147 housing units and create additional mixed income housing in the area. It's something that PHA is doing, period. They are reconstructing all the old units so that it will stand within the new days. Another change, location. The houses will be spread throughout north central Philadelphia, which could be a few blocks away from the row homes that are still awaiting construction on the outskirts of campus. As for who can return, Richardson says everyone, as long as they followed PHA rules. So now that they've returned to coming back, PHA have given them they let us according to the bedroom size that you need. So those who once held two or three bedroom houses can now be forced to downsize. But Richardson says despite hearing this complaint, people like Harris is beautiful that we never had two bathrooms in one house. Who have already moved back in are happy in their new homes. I walked on when he was putting each brick and board up until it got up. So I'm very pleased with that.